And while the Omicron variant of the coronavirus has spread rapidly throughout Wisconsin, a lot of that spread is tracked through a lab in Madison. Scientists in the AIDS vaccine research lab were able to pinpoint the first cases of Omicron back in early December. By January 1st, it was making up nearly 90% of all new cases. Ward Jollis takes us behind the scenes at the lab where scientists are able to track Omicron's rapid spread. If you've tested positive for COVID-19 recently, there's a good chance your sample might end up here. The UW-Madison AIDS Vaccine Research Lab. It's where the epidemiological magic is happening. So once the samples get here, we pick a subset of them to sequence and we go through sort of a, a set of experiments. Lab technician Rob Maddox showed us how scientists sequence the virus or analyze its genetic code. We had to get suited up before we went in. The main reason we're doing this is not so much for yeah. our safety, but for the safety of our samples. Once the samples get to the lab, they're heated up to make sure they're no longer infectious and viral particles are split open so scientists can access the genetic material. This is where once we then have that, that vRNA, we're going to do sort of two reactions to get it ready for our sequencing step. And that basically just converts that vRNA into DNA that is easier to work with. Then machines called thermocyclers take over and amplify the virus so it's easier to study. This is just, uh... Once the samples are amplified, they finally end up here where they're loaded through these flow cells and read through a computer where scientists can see if it's Omicron or not. This belongs to the Delta lineage. We have this one here, which represents the uh, Omicron. Luis Haddock is another lab worker. He can take positive samples and see which variants are present and where those variants come from. And we use that information to inform public health specialists and government agencies throughout the state so they can take their, uh, use that information and, um, and, and inform the public and create public health policies. With that information, they can pinpoint how Omicron spreads in Wisconsin over time and track other variants to come. If another variant arises that somehow sort of can outcompete Omicron that we're there to make sure that we know when it's here. 